I'm Nick. And I'm Ray. And welcome back to the Milsurp Duo. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, we've been gone for almost a year now. Uh, took a new job back in March. And between moving, five, ooh, what is it, 300 miles? Yeah, 300 miles. Almost five hours away from home. It's it's kind of hard to film with Dad when Dad was only five, ten minutes down the road from my house back home. <laughs> right. So and then, of course, moving over here. Lived with an uncle and uncle for a couple months while I was looking for a house. And just with work, work's been busy, trying to get stuff caught up, starting to stay on task. It just can be a lot yeah. busier. So, But it's been good. I yeah. mean, you've had a lot more opportunities to find Millsurp stuff over here. I will say, the Millsurp market over here in the Kansas City metro area is incredible. I can probably go to a show. It's been that way for most gun shows I go yeah. to. I'm buying at least one, if not multiple. It, there's rarely I go to a show where I get truly skunked. So. Even if you don't buy anything, you're getting leads and Absolutely. meeting people. And it's, yep. it's... I've already been, I've only been here a little over, what we say, eight, eight, nine months. Yeah. I've made so many good contacts over here, which is also good. And there's a lot of good opportunities over here in the KC area. Yep. Uh, as far as new purchases, uh, we've, we're going to show you a few here. We've gotten consi considerably more. So, but the, this is some highlights. I picked up, uh, this is probably one of the nice ones I picked up this year. This is a Moss 1944. This is the uh, this gun or this design was hid from the Germans when they took over the uh, the facility in France. Uh, the tooling is so close visually to an actual bolt action Moss 36 that the Germans never caught on that the French were developing a semi-automatic rifle. Uh, once the uh, plant was liberated and the French started production back up, they went into the Moss. And I believe, don't quote me on the numbers. But there was one contract that was let. We'll have uh, uh, more information. I think there's around 6,000 rifles made. Yeah, I believe uh, that's right. Yeah. But there again, when we do the actual video on that, we'll have up-to-date, correct data. Yeah, and you don't see a ton of these. You see more of the 49s. 49s, yeah. Which the big difference is yeah. the bayonet. The bayonet, yeah. Well, not the, no, the bayonet. The grenade launcher. The grenade on the front. launcher, yeah. yeah. The grenade launcher. That's stuff. Yep. The 49, yeah. The 49 has. Yeah. But yeah, this these is, are super cool. You don't see a ton nice. of these. Yep. All right. What do you got, Nick? So... Here's a, just a couple. I've probably picked up, oh gosh, what would you say? 10 or 12. 10 or 12 at least since I've moved over here. Um, so this is a uh, Ch uh, Argentine, my bad, 1891 Calvary Carbine. Um, super clean. This one, um, when it was imported, um, actually had a brand new stock set put on it. Um, other than that, all numbers matching. Super clean gun. Magazine matches everything. Um, we hopefully should have a series coming, not just on this one. Um, the I have a Chilean uh 1895 short rifle i picked up it's not in the best condition it needs a couple parts here and there but i got a really good deal on it especially when you don't see a ton of those um i got my own argentine 1891 as well but hopefully a lot of south american stuff coming up on the channel um another vid gun i got um i actually did a collab video with uh milster mike which we'll talk about here in a minute um and we bought these from edelweiss arms back over labor day this is a uh, swiss 1889 straight pull so the original Schmidt Rubin. Um, this one's in a 7.5 by 53 and a half cartridge. Um, I'll be hopefully doing a reloading video on this, kind of showing how to produce the brass. Is it smokeless or black powder? It was kind of a. It's it's an interesting. Bloke on the range did an interesting video. Um, go check that video out. Um, I believe they were smokeless, semi smokeless, but I'm gonna be reloading with sim or with smokeless. I'm yeah. not gonna mess with black powder on this. Um, but yeah, this is numbers matching. Super clean gun. It is nice. Um, as I said, I got a really good price on these. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for video on this. Um, and then as well, this is another newer purchase. There's a uh, FFL dealer here in the KC Metro area that we all know real well. Um, and back in July, he got a, a large amount of these uh, 1912 Steyr Hans. Um, this one's not the best of, the, of them, not but bad. for what I paid, I got a pretty good price on it for it. And it's it shoots. We have shot it. Um, big issue with this is finding 9mm Steyr. Right now is not the easiest thing in the world. Um, brass is on obtainium right now. I'm kind of looking at maybe a loading series. I'm kind of playing with some different brass ideas at the moment. We were kind of talking about that the other night. Um, right. So maybe stay tuned. Maybe a video in the future for this. But other than that, super cool gun. Um, That's an internal 10-round magazine. It runs off a 10-round stripper clip. Yeah, it's super cool. You don't see these all day. And when you do... They're usually pretty expensive. Right. So um, I didn't have any Austria-Hungarian pistols for the collection. So I kind of had to add one. So. Right. But 
Sounds good. In the near future, uh, we will be attending SHOT Show, and that is like the third yeah. week Middle, of January. Mid, I think it's third week. I think January 20th yeah. around there is when we'll start that, nice. but don't know exact dates yeah. at the moment. So anything, uh, we will be attending range day, so anything that is uh, military surplus related will definitely uh, pop a short out there on that. Uh, anything, any new guns that are remakes of older weapons we will definitely have a, a yeah, video no, like on last it. year we had the uh, m16 that palmetto with h &R is doing we had the stg 44 clone right um that dragon off that was there yeah so hopefully there's some more like that yeah. coming i've heard some rumblings of some stuff but nothing that i know of truly yet so. right uh some of the other places you can catch us or where yeah so like i said when i was talking about the swiss i did the uh a collab video with milsert mike who's also based in the Kansas city he has a great channel Go check him out. He puts a ton of shorts out. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, tons of good videos. Tons a very cool, good collection. An awesome collection. Um, I'll be helping him out with some new stuff here coming out recently or soon, probably within the new year. Uh, also go check out Danny over at the Millsurp World channel. Great channel. His collection is one of the best I've ever yep, seen. Yep, it's very nice. Very nice. Um, check him his stuff out. Really good channel. Very knowledgeable. And there's just a ton. We have a huge group here in the Kansas City area. Yes. It's just a great group of guys. Um, but, yeah, so stay tuned. We have a potential. And then, on, like, on your French, we're kind of in yeah. between Mike, Danny, and I. We're kind of putting together a video idea on the French Moss series of rifles. Mm -hmm. Potentially springtime we're going to maybe do yeah. that. Nothing Once set Once we can get everybody's calendar exactly. to work. Exactly. We're going to work out our calendars and potentially do a video on that. Nothing's set in stone yet. Um, but we're kind of – spitballing some ideas at each other on right. that. But yeah, any, we also want to wish you all Merry Christmas. That's Merry the Christmas. main reason why we decided to do the video right around this time. Let you all know we're, we're still alive. That's we we are alive. So, but yeah, biggest thing is the Merry Christmas. So. Uh, you know, when you think of Christmas, you think of, you know, we, we're, we base our channel on military surplus. And you think of the men and women and the veterans that have came before us and what they've done. Uh, as far as back, one I think of that's taken place during Christmas is uh, when uh, Washington crossed the Delaware, and you said he was crossing into he, he crossed on Christmas night was the, it was the main thing Christmas night and he into Christmas the day after Christmas, um, he was attacking Trenton, New Jersey, Trenton, which is Trenton, where the Hessians, the British had brought the German Hessians in to kind of yeah. solidify that area. Yeah. Um, but that's yeah. the big one. And then the next one I can think of is the Christmas truce or World War One. I. Yeah. I think you know a little more about that. Uh, that's. When you think of the Christmas truce, that's where you, especially everybody sings Silent Night when they go to church, or, or this is the, the season for that. And that's uh, one of the biggest things come there, you know, laying, sitting in a foxhole and, you know, kind of a lull in the battle. Somebody starts singing uh, Silent Night, then, then both sides join in. Uh, then it comes to a point, you know, everybody gets out of the trenches and the truce begins and they start sharing uh, small gifts between each other, whether it be tobacco or rations, uh, what they played soccer. Yeah, I believe they played soccer. Played soccer. So I mean, it's you know just that. And there's been multiple movies made on that. I know I oh, can yeah. never remember the good. There's a really good one that I've watched a yeah, couple of the scenes from. Yeah. I can never remember what it's called, but very good movie. And the biggest one that I can remember being a big World War Two buff is a uh, Battle of Bastogne, Battle, Battle of Bulge. Yep. Then when it when it's sub zero, super cold, you're in a foxhole with non cold weather gear a lot of times. Yes. Yeah. Being bombed and trees exploding over your heads. It's yeah. It's incredible what they had to go through. And that, that, as we say, that is the greatest generation alive. Right. Was the World War II greatest generation. And there again, this time of year, thank you for your men and women in the blue and the men and women that are currently serving, all your first responders, doctors, nurses, people in the hospital that give up time with their family during this season to, to take care of you and I. Uh, there again, that's all I've got. Yeah, that's all i got. Stay with us. We will be having more stuff this year. Uh, there again... Until we find a place to shoot, we may not have any much actual range footage, but we're yeah, working on it. We've on got it. some I have leads. some contacts I'm trying to work with. and There's a couple good-sized ranges here around me that I'm just trying to work out and trying to join. In. But if nothing else, we will have uh, reviews. Reviews. So, yeah, right. stay tuned. Have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Again, and be safe. And be safe.